have a little meeting I'm out um, headed to in a couple of minutes, so this will be really short, I promise. Um, but it's just, I'm inspired. Um, so I know several of y'all know that I've been trying to, you know, do the Bob Heilig challenge that's going on right now. I'm just like all of you. I'm a busy person, even though I'm a stay-at-home homeschool mom and all of that. I, I stay busy even with that. And, um, you know, just life takes over and I haven't kept up with his videos daily or his homework daily as I had intended, but that's the blessing of it. It's out there indefinitely for me to access, for you to access. And, you know, it's not a time limited thing as far as if you don't do this homework or listen to this video today, then it's not going to work for you later when you come back to it. Absolutely not. It's, it's, you know, invaluable indefinitely. So do it go back and watch what you've missed. Register now if you're not. Even if this challenge itself is not your thing and is not stuff that's either helpful to you or interesting to you, I guarantee you, you, and I have some of you directly in mind, and I know who you are, and you probably know who you are too if you're listening to this, but do register for this challenge, I'm telling you, because you just need an inside peek at his bigger membership that's normally a paid membership that you're going to get exclusive access to get a 14-day free trial to when this challenge is over. He's going to announce that on Friday. That's the big announcement that I'm aware of that right now he's teasing about and keeping a secret a bit about. So do register for this challenge and whether or not you go back and look at the stuff or when you do, you're like, I don't, this isn't me. I don't like this. That's fine, but I'm telling you, you still want to see and read and hear all the massive uh, resources that he's got in his membership, in his paid membership area, and specifically, hey Ida, specifically his um, his uh, philosophy on this business, and that's where I am inspired. Even today, listening, I'm catching up, and I'm just now on today's video. Uh, I just caught up on yesterday's video, and then now I'm catching up on today's. Not quite halfway through it yet. So, hey, Ida, Ida. <laughs> anyway, it just reminded me of one of the many things that I do love about this profession of network marketing. They also call it relationship marketing, and it's, it's just tremendous. If you have the right mindset, attitude, all of that about it. If you go into it with the right heart, this profession, and it is a legitimate profession, a legitimate business model. There's a reason companies choose this because it is the new or not even so much new anymore, but it is the way to go from here and into the future for a business, both for your own business, but for big companies and products and things like that to get their stuff out there better. Um, anyway, but what I love about it is doing this makes me a better friend and even family member. Y'all, I know you're all like me. I know you're busy. Our worlds are so crazy that even when I've lived in the same, um, I know I have a low network connection right now, but anyway, even when I've lived in the same town, my hometown with my family, we still struggled to fit time into each other's lives to get together with each other when as much as we had intended or thought we would once we finally lived in the same area again much less living far away from people so you know it's just but when you do this you're not just reaching out to people to get them to buy from you or to get them to join you on your team and be an awesome uh, rep or whatever you're also you know you're you're being forced to think of people that you already care about, you're already genuinely interested in, you already, you know, are connected to or even related to, and rekindle, if not um, build even deeper, a relationship that you already have and want and need to rekindle. That's why we're on Facebook, just as people these days is because we want to reconnect with those people we've lost touch with. We want to maintain a connection with people we have a connection with or have had a connection with. That's what we want. And so this, whether or not someone buys from me, whether or not they join my team, whether or not they quit on me or quit on my products and think it, it's just all a bunch of fluff or whatever, which it's not, but still, I don't care. I'm okay with that because it's the person that I care about. And it's the fact that I have gotten to connect with them again. Maybe this made me 
take a moment to do it when I wouldn't have otherwise done that. But I'm thankful for that. I'm so, so thankful for that. And that's why I love, love, one of the many things I love, love, love about uh, this as a as a business. Um, it, it really blesses my life. And I pray that it blesses others' lives through this connection that I, I make sure to do. Uh, because it just gets me in that thought process. Who is it that I haven't spoken with in a long time? Who is it that I have been seeing pictures from and keep meaning to connect with and say, how are you doing and ask how I can pray for you? It's all legitimate stuff. It's not to get business. It's just because now I'm more aware and I'm more likely to stop for a second and do something about that inkling that I had about that person. So I hope that, uh, resonates a little with you and if you've considered this as a business but you think it's crazy and we're nutty people and we use our friends and family that's not what it's like now some people obviously do abuse that and I pray that I'll never I know I'll never be one of those people and you won't either that's not your heart and that's the difference it's all in your in who you are and how you live this out so anyway love y'all I've got somewhere to be so Y'all have a wonderful day. Praying for you, thinking about you. Hope you catch this. Give me some comments whenever you watch this. Uh, let me know you're there. Love y'all. Bye.